Breaking news out of Missouri, a new video just in. At least 11 are known dead, five still missing after a duck boat capsized in the choppy waters of Branson, Missouri. And here's some video just in. We know that children were on board the boat when it sank around 7 yesterday evening. Stormy weather is believed to be behind the boat's capsizing. Now, search efforts were suspended overnight, but they are scheduled to continue this morning. Of course, you can stay right here for live coverage on Good Morning America starting at 7 a.m. In Seneca County, the man accused of killing two people in Waterloo last week is due in court today. And Emerson John Tahafjian is scheduled to be arraigned at 1.30 this afternoon. A grand jury indicted him on two counts of murder yesterday. He is accused of shooting and killing 45-year-old Charlie Andrus and 53-year-old Lori McConnell back on July 10th. A 27-year-old motorcyclist remains in serious but stable condition after that five-vehicle rush hour crash in Syracuse that shut down 690 on Wednesday evening. As for the two-year-old boy reportedly ejected from his car, which overturned, police say his mother and a witness reported that ejection, but they're still investigating just how that may have happened and what role, if any, the car seat may have played in that crash and his survival. Anyone who witnessed it is encouraged to call the traffic unit at 315-442-5151. Well, as for how to keep your child safe in their car seat, you can also head to localsyr.com. Well, they're driving as carefully as they can at the state fairgrounds. Another live look at the beginning of the Syracuse Nationals. Thousands of those hot rods and muscle cars have been streaming into the fairgrounds since they opened the gates, oh, an hour and a half ago, give or take. It's the largest show of its kind in the Northeast. Thousands of visitors, lots of money for local businesses, and of course, we'll be covering it for you all weekend long.